After having problems with my 2016 Ram, it had the cylinder deactivation system for highway fuel economy cause five lifters to collapse, and that was approximately a $4,000 repair, I decided it was time to invest in a different truck. So me being a smart, logical individual, no, not even close, I went out and bought a 1992 Ford with the 7.3 liter IDI motor from International Harvester without the turbocharger and with a factory five speed. Now this is an interesting truck in that it has two batteries for the diesel engine. It's currently not running and I've diagnosed the problem at least partly to here. See that? No spray, no nothing. There's air in the fuel lines, so I'm going to have to purge the lines, figure out why she's getting air. But let's take a first look around this thing, shall we? I was told it has about 150,000 miles on it, which, given everything I'm seeing, fairly consistent. Now, let's see. I haven't gone through this yet, so let's see what goodies we've got. Okay. There's the air cleaner assembly. No surprises there. Old registration sticker. So that means it passed an inspection last in 2016 here, Texas. So it's in the glove box. Hmm. Warranty information. No, that's useful. 93. Wait, is this truck a 92 or a 93? Oh, it's a 93. Okay, some information from the old owners. Okay, my mistake. 93, not 92. And, oh, that's always good to see. Spare parts. Glow plugs. It has four brand new glow plugs. Still in boxes. And a U-joint. In the glove box. So, we're going to put those back. Assume that's going to be a problem that I can deal with later. Yeah, that's a relay for the glow plug system. So obviously, that's what was being dealt with with the hard start. Good old-fashioned original stereo with what looks like some crude attempt at car theft. Now, the interior is really decent for a truck this age. Again, confirms the approximately 150,000 miles. Oh, hey! Yeah, best of Leonard Skinner. Sweet! That's a win. I'm excited about that. I don't know why this is on the seat belt. Free cotter pin. Smart water. If I were smart, I wouldn't be buying 30-year-old trucks. Oh, somebody's empty, but... Be a shame if it came with free beer, then I'd really be ahead. Oh, there's the missing badge for the passenger side. Another cotter pin. Ooh, sweet. Free aftermarket stereo. That's got to be worth like $5. There's the missing mirror. Yeah. Cab corners aren't rotted out. Doors are solid. I mean, it really needs a good cleaning, but pretty much everything's here. I'll go try that from the other side. Yeah, missing badge. Fancy American racing wheels on it. I'm not much for those, but... Huh. Missing the front bumper. Not a big deal. It obviously sat so that way the driver's side saw more sun. And this spot here on the seat, that's the worst of it. Pedals are a bit worn. Not surprising, but this. This is why you can't tell what mileage it has. Hmm, issue with the fuel gauge. Voltage okay. Yeah, the glow plug light isn't even coming on, so that's definitely a part of the problem. Don't know what the shifter handle is. I will replace it with one with the gear shift because I like seeing the gear shift pattern. It's just me. 
Yep, manufactured by Ford December of 92. So that's where I got 92 from. But yeah, it's a 93 model year. And what brand have we got? Ooh, Alpine. Maybe worth $10 at the old rummage sale. Some trim pieces. Well, these things flip up, so let's see if there's anything underneath it. Oh yeah, there we go. We've got seat belts and a Twix wrapper and some lizard eggs. Hmm. Some fuses. Hmm. Eh, could be worse. I'll get rid of the old Twix wrapper. I'll throw that out later. But, uh, that's gonna need some white whiskey and grease too. And we've got hitch pin. Oh, cup holders, snazzy. Blocking key for the gas cap and rear fuel tank. Now these, you almost always have issues with the dual fuel tank system. No idea what's going on with that. I'll delve into that after I can get it to get fuel power, but tail gate's in decent shape. Tail lights aren't broken. Bed's nice. There's the empty beer can from earlier. I'm going to go through a few of those before I get this thing back on the road. Yeah. This is what I'm working with. And for what I paid for it, I really can't complain. Registration in Texas here is... And this, I'm not kidding, current. So that means it was running not too long ago. Won't take too much to get her back on the road. All right, I'll keep uh, you posted as I actually get there. 